welcome to our 2020 awards presentation. Obviously this year we're doing things a little bit differently. Last year we presented to uh, our students um, their awards which were well deserved at the Robert Blackwood Hall. This year we're doing things a little bit differently, unfortunately due to the pandemic and our awards presentation is coming to you uh, via video. But it doesn't mean that the awards are any less important than they've ever been. And it's always uh, important for us to recognise uh, the outstanding achievements of our students, whether they're in the middle of the year or at the end of the year. But particularly this year, for students to be committed to their learning and to be achieving uh, great things in the middle of a pandemic is extra significant. And uh, I really want to thank all of the students who are being awarded in this video uh, for their commitment and their hard work, particularly during the remote learning phase, which was really, really difficult. Um, and I think we need to thank uh, uh, the, the teachers for their support. Uh, but to be able to achieve an award in a year like this year, I think is, is, is extra significant um, than any other year. And I think this video is an opportunity for us to recognise and to celebrate um, what you've done this year through great difficulty. Last year at the awards presentation, I got up and I committed uh, in 2020 to recognising student growth, which is really important. Yes, uh, we have students that achieve outstanding results. Uh, year seven might be able to achieve results that will be equivalent to a year nine. And we often recognise that outstanding academic achievement. But more importantly, some of our students who, for example, um, a year eight student who might be able to do maths at a grade five level, if within one year they can achieve 12 months or more growth and maybe go from year five to year seven level in the space of a year, I think that's just as significant and needs to be recognised. That's what we committed to this year. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, um, that was very difficult for us to do and that growth was very difficult to measure. But we're absolutely committed to doing that next year in 2021 and that'll be a significant part of our awards presentation. What we have done this year, though, because of the pandemic, is uh, we've recognised perseverance. And uh, many of the awards that we're giving out today uh, in this video are in recognition of the perseverance that many of our students have committed to all the way through, whether that's been uh, through learning on site or in remote learning. And uh, I think that's a great um, award for our students to be able to achieve throughout such a difficult year. So no matter what award you're getting um, in this video, I really want to thank you for your efforts, uh, your contribution in class or out of class in our school community. Uh, these, are, these awards are well deserved. I hope this video is an opportunity for you to celebrate uh, with your parents what you've achieved through such a difficult year. I hope you can uh, sit back uh, and enjoy the rest of the awards presentation. Thank you. Well, g'day to my friends out of Lanterna College. It's fantastic to be able to join with you, albeit virtually, um, as is many things in the year of 2020, to your end of year celebrations. My name is Jackson Taylor. I'm the State Member of Parliament for the Bayswater District, so thank you so much for having me. It would, of course, be remiss of me to not start by saying a huge thank you to Mr Kevin Murphy, to his leadership team, to all of the staff and educators out there for doing an amazing job of helping the students of Wontona College get through an incredibly difficult year. In the year of what we'll remember as the year of COVID, um, I'm so very proud of the work of our educators. And of course, not just this year, but every year, but I know how, um, how challenging it has been for you. And of course, to all of the students at Wontona College, getting through what will be looked at in the history books, as I said, the year of COVID, you should all be very proud of your achievements. So to all of you, congratulations on getting through a difficult year. And of course, to the year 12s who are moving on next year, I wish you the best of successes in your life uh, and in the next chapter of your journey uh, in 2021. And of course, I am here to award my Lynn Greenlee's Community Award. For me, look, it's no secret um, that I truly believe in the power that education has to transform lives. And it did so for me as well. I remember back when I was a, a young tacker at Daniel Primary School, and this award is named after my vice principal at Daniel Primary. Lynn Greenlee's um, taught and instilled in me values of uh, ensuring to be inclusive of all, respecting others, and not just being able to lead, but also to work as part of a team. And those are important values that we could all learn uh, a little bit more about, I'm sure. And I've been told this student here that wins a Lynn Greenlee's Community Award um, certainly embodies those values. So without further ado, 
At the end of year 10, this student was uncertain about their education and future pathway. However, through their resilience, they were able to continually strive to be a perfectionist in everything that they studied and participated in and always showed initiative and personal drive to achieve their best. Graduating this year, this student has now decided to continue their studies next year to be a teacher. Last year, she participated in a winter sleep out and organised a clothing drive for the homeless organisation Avalon Centre. This year, she was Montana College's first VCAL captain. As a part of her role, she has shown immense leadership both within the VCAL program and across her year level. The very worthy recipient of this year's Lynn Greenlees Community Award is Brooke Delaney. Well done, Brooke. Congratulations. A massive round of applause for Brooke. Um, extremely well deserved. You should be very proud of yourself. Um, you'll be receiving a plaque and a $50 gift card as well that will make sure it will come across to you. So to Brooke, to you, to all of the Year 12s this year, um, to everyone out of Wontona College, um, well done and congratulations on getting through what has been a tough year. But I know that each and every one of you will be moving on to bigger and better things in 2020, uh, 2021. Can I just, of course, wish you a very Merry Christmas a happy new year. You all deserve uh, a long break, at least a few weeks anyway. I know Mr Murphy probably won't get as many weeks as you, but um, look, I hope you all have a great break. Um, please take it easy on the roads, look after yourself, and look forward to seeing you in 2021. Cheers.